Hi, I'm Jesper Peterson from KDAB. You're watching Programming with Qt and QML. It's not going to feel all that much QML in this video because we're down in the machine room of Qt. We're looking at the C++ side of things. We already started last video to look at what does signal slot connection look like. In this video, we're going to look at two different versions of signal slot. We have the signal slot connection where we connect with a pointer to a member function. That's what you saw in the previous one. And then I'm going to show you what it looked like and what it felt like to be a brave man in the good old days, Q4 days when we had signal slot connection with a macro-based version instead. There's a reason why I show you that, so don't worry. I didn't lose my mind yet, or at least that's not the proof that I did. We had three different ways to connect signals and slots in C++. Function pointers, signal slot macros, the, the point or the, the, yeah, the macro based versions, and then we have the function objects, and the most noticeable version of that is called the lambda expression. We're going to see that the lambda expression in much more detail in the next video. But in this video here, let's look at the two different ways that you can connect where we are not talking about lambda expression. First one, is what you saw in the previous in the previous video here. You write the, the object that you want to connect from the pointer to a member function, so Q slider colon colon value changed, the object that you want to connect to, and the slot that you want to connect. So ampersand Q spin bar colon colon set value. And the syntax for your connect statement, if you go and look in the in the header file, looks exactly like this. It's a const Q object pointer uh, for the and then a pointer to a member function and a const q object pointer again and a pointer to a member function again. We have another version of doing it. And this is what we did back in Q4, Q3, Q2, and Q1. We used some macros instead of this pointer to member function. And actually, you might even want to use that in Q5 if you want a Q5, 6 or earlier for some specific examples. But we'll I'll point to that exactly when we get there. The pointer to member function again takes four fingers. So who is emitting a signal, which signal, who is emitting or who's receiving the, who is implementing a slot, and which slot are we talking about? But the back to that one, the second and fourth are not a pointer to a member function this time. They are just a regular string. You can see that up here const champ pointer signal, const champ pointer method. And the way we get to those strings is that we write signal in capital letters around the name of the signal and then in, in the parameter list. So we're talking about the one bringing out the integer. Connecting to this slot, S-L-O-T, slot here in capital letter, the name of the slot, and again, its parameter list. And that's where, if you are in Qt 5, 6 or earlier, that you might want because it's easy to specify which signal and which slot am I talking about. You simply do that with the parameter list. So if you had a slot that took both an integer and a Q string, you could easily tell it, hey, it's this one that takes an integer. We'll see that in the next example. The signal slot mechanism. Let me just bring this up for you here. So I got this uh, simple example here. Got lots of errors. Wonder what that's what Qt Creator is up to here. Let me, well, we're in C++ level now, so I need to compile it. Configure here, now compiling it and running it. And running it, I said. There we are. Nope. There we are. Thank you very much. Here I have a Q slider that is connected to my Q spin box. And when I move it around, you can see it works just fine. I did so using this syntax here from my um, my Qt4 days of signal value changed in comma spin comma slot set value. But just imagine that I made a small spelling error here, value change instead of value change. Let me compile that again. It's already doing that. It's coming up there. And did you see a difference? What? Let me show you the difference. Aha, not working, huh? Well, 
why didn't I get a compiler? Why didn't I get anything? Well, you did. Else, L3, oh, over here, L3 in your Qt creator. And down here you can see Q object colon colon connect. No such signal, Q slider value change in, in this particular line. Obviously, our C++ compiler do not have a chance in whatever to be able to take that string that it got and look at, is this really a signal from that object. That's why the pointer to member function was, was welcomed so extremely much in Qt5 because finally we got something that could give us a compile error. It's not even a runtime error when you start your application, it's a runtime error when you do your connect, which could be several hours into using your application. And at that point, it will print out on standard output an error message and if your customer is on Windows without a standard output, or if your customer even are on a Linux but compiled in a way where they do not see the standard output, game over. They will simply not see why it doesn't work. They will only be able to report back to you that, hey, this slider here doesn't work at all, and you'll have to investigate. So the Q5 way is by far preferred. There is another disadvantage of the Qt4 way, namely that there are no implicit conversion going on. So you cannot connect a signal that brings out an integer into a slot that takes a double, even though we all know that, hey, if the integer is within a given range, that should be just fine. With the Qt5 macro bait or the Qt5 pointer to member function connect, it works just fine. There is a final thing to say. That's this one down here. It's actually a, an argument for why is our new way worse than our old way of connecting. Fortunately, in Qt 5.7, it was fixed. So let's try and run this example again. I need to compile it. I need to configure it first, and then I'll compile it, and we'll see what it does. Well, while we're compiling, I can tell you it's a slider that's connected to a Q LCD number. It's not more sexy than that. But what we'll see is that my connection now looks like this. It is truly terrible and part of it is hidden behind my face. So there we are. I have a connect statement, the slider, that's who is emitting the signal. It is the value change from Q slider, which object, that's the integer LCD, and which, where did it go? Did I see it come up? And which slot are we talking about? Yeah, about that, we would like to say that it's a QLCD number colon colon display. But let me show you the documentation. QLCD number colon colon display. Yeah, the QLCD number colon colon display takes a Q string. No, no. The QLCD number colon colon display takes an integer. No, no. The QLCD number colon colon display takes a double. So we have three overloaded methods, one taking an integer, one taking a, a, a double, and one taking a Q string. So your compiler at this time will not know what to do. If you go, you would likely end up on a page that says, hey, you should do exactly this syntax here, which is what we had to do in Qt 5.0, 5.1, 5.2, 5.3, 5.4, 5.5, 5.6, 5.7, 5.8, 5.9, 5.10, 5.11, 5.12, 5.13, 5.14, 5.15, 5.16, 5.17, 5.18, 5
Mm, borrow set again. And hopefully for you, you'll end up on a Stack Overflow page that tells you that horrendous syntax that we had before. But hey, if you are one of the cool kids that is using Qt 5.7, then you've got two other alternatives. Let me show you those. The first alternative, if you're using Qt 5.7 or above, and you're using a C++ 11 compiler, but not C++ 14 available compiler, then you write Q overload. And we're saying we want the inversion colon colon off. And that's where you're looking at me in total disbelief and saying, yes, but seriously, you think that's better than the, than the other version? Yes, I do. It takes a bit of getting used to, but after seeing it five times, even somebody like me can remember to write it. So let me just, before I, I brag too much, let me just validate that it actually do compile. So Q overload colon colon int. I'm saying, I'm, I'm talking about the overloaded version of display that takes an integer and then the colon colon off template magic for making this work. This is if you're using Qt 5.7 or above, and you're using uh, a compiler that's still not C++ 14 capable. If you're using C++ 14 capable compiler, and welcome to the future, this is 2019, it's gonna be 2027. When you watch this, I'm sure this is gonna be an everlasting video. You should have a C++ 14 compiler, and if you do, then you can write syntax looking like this. Instead of the capital Q, you're gonna write a lowercase Q, and that looks so much better, right? Well, and the colon colon off also goes away. So Q overload, lowercase Q, and here is the list of parameter. Did I want to talk to the double one, then it would look like this. Had I wanted to talk to the Q string version, it would have looked like this. But as you know, I want to talk to the int version, so it looks like this. And here's my connect statement with uh, a much easier reading syntax. That's it for this video. In the next video, we're gonna see how we can connect our signals to Lambda expression. There's been quite a bit of debate over the years of when should you do this and is it a good idea and so on. Personally, I'll give you my personal assessment on it when we get to that video. So until next time, you know, to subscribe to our channels, will you? And have a great day.